Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. I am going to be going through tonight and telling you everything that I know about Spookwood um, so you can be prepared for this coming up October. Uh, how far away are we? What do we, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we still got like six days left. We got one week until October 1st. Um, if you didn't know, during October, during the month of October, this special tree called the Spook Tree and another special tree called the Sinister Tree, which, by the way, I think Sinister will grow outside of October. Um, don't quote me. The wiki might know more about that, but um, the Spook Tree... Er, oh my goodness. Oh, I got a candy bar. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and eat that. That way I can have the pink... Haze. The spook tree is this right here. Or the, the spook wood, as it were. Hold on, I need to I need to actually chop some of this and, and finish off that door right there before it goes and takes a big piece. This is spook wood. It looks like a chocolatey marble style wood and it's beautiful to build with. Makes this beautiful pattern. And one of the best things to build with these is the, um, let's see, where is it? It's the cabinets. Oh, I don't have cabinets. Oh, I'll go do that. Um, it's it's um, marble. Marble is like one of the best things that you can build with the, the spook tree, spook wood, because um, of the pattern that it makes. It just looks beautiful. So, um, what do we know about the spook tree? The spook tree itself will grow uh, uh, only one per server. So this right now, the, the game that I'm in, it is a private server. So um, that means I'm going to have to wait a little while before one will appear. Now it's not gonna appear right now, it's not October, but when October does come around, one tree in each server will appear. Um, this is kind of a problem because exploiters, um, they have little hacks that will take them straight to the spook tree. <clears throat> Which, by the way, I've uh, given a suggestion to Defaultio on how to <laughs> troll the exploiters. Um, <clears throat> I won't go into details, but um, yeah, the, there's supposed to be one tree per, per server. And that tree can grow pretty much anywhere, um, but the places that it's labeled to grow are on grass, which I think is this stuff here, right? The the grass area, and rock. So anything that's a rock area, which means all of this right here, these, these are fair game. It can it can grow on top of these. Now with the way that the logarithms work with the these trees, okay, it will find a spot to grow. So this is called seeding. It will look around uh, the area for a place to grow and say it lands right here, boom, right? This is the spot that it wants to grow. The next thing it does is it will look around its immediate area, I think it's like 10 by 10 or 20 by 20, to see if any other trees are growing in that area. If there are, it will choose a different place, which is kind of cool because that, that keeps the trees all separated and spread out. The next thing is, let's say, because this is a part right here, the road is a part. Let's say it shows right here. The next thing it does, it creates a ray from where it's at pointing up to the sky. If there's something in its way, like right here, like the, the road would be in the way, it'd be in the path, it's like, hey, I can't grow here. Let's choose another spot. And that's what it will do. It will, it will continuously do that until it finds a nice open spot where it can actually grow. And off it goes. It will plant the sapling and begin its journey into maturity. Hey, Koi. I would like to purchase some, some of these, please. Yes. Thank you. So uh, I'm just gonna be purchasing these real quick. Um, the next thing that we know is during the month of October, um, no, 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 not during the month of October, only on Halloween day, October 31st, you can get the um, End Times Axe 
which is purchased the same way that you purchase a rookie axe, which I think I'll show you that while we're here as well. Should have plenty of time to do all this. Um, but the um, rookie axe, normally you collect up the light bulb, you collect up the worms, the can of worms, and you collect up the sand. With those items, you can head over to Smuggler's Den, that's what it's called, and place all of them on the plates and get yourself a rookie axe. So, um, this was supposed to kind of be like a little tutorial kind of thing. I don't like it. I don't like the way it feels. I'm just going to sit here and talk the whole time. So, I guess I could pause it if you wanted to, but I mean, we're already five minutes into the video, so who cares? Let's just keep going. There we go. Those cabinets are what I'm I'm wanting. Thin countertops. Countertops. <gasps> come on, come on, don't close on me. Don't you close on me. Come on, come on, come on, please. Please. Close. Talk to Corey. Yes, 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 yes I want to buy it. Thank you. Now, one thing I've never tried, I've never tried to talk to Corey like in the middle of mid-sentence and he closes. Never done that before. So, yes, I want to purchase. Thank you. So, let's go Let's go grab a light bulb. Boop, 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 boop. I'll just make sure that I have one bought so we can, so we can do this. Hurry, hurry, code. He's gonna close. He's gonna close on me, isn't he? Come on, please. 2,600, yes. Oh, by the way, you're gonna be need about 7,500, 7,900, whoops, for the, uh, for the Rookie X. Because it takes 200 to get across the, uh, across and back from the um, bridge. 2,600 for the, oh no! It ended. Good night, Corey. I'm surprised it doesn't like kick you out. I think the stores should do that. If you're inside the store, it will teleport you to the outside and then close the doors. I think that's what it should do. At least that's how I feel. Oh, it's nighttime. Lights on. So the next thing that we know about the um the not the in times the 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 spookwood is that it's not limited to a biome. So, mainland, safari, swampland, it's not limited to just one place. It looks across the whole map and it can grow anywhere. Pretty much anywhere. Um, I don't know that I've ever seen one on top of a building before because the building's labels are not rocks or uh, grass areas. Oh, limited stock is out. Look at that. Look, he's got the sign out. The sign is out. Let's see. Anything hidden hidden around? Where do we need to find the hidden things? Hey, Bob. <laughs> hey. You want to buy this can of worms for 3200 Yes, please. <laughs> Thanks. Bob, you're so weird. <laughs> you're so weird, buddy. That's okay. We're all weird, right? So, um, one place that I do find it a lot of the times is over on top of the, um, the peninsula. If you guys don't know where the peninsula is, as you're heading towards the winter biome, okay, up where the, up where the power is, that little, um, it juts out. If you're looking at it from above, it's a peninsula. So you got the southern peninsula and then you got the eastern peninsula. I don't know which way is which. Actually, I do. Hold on. The sun goes down over there, sun rises over here. So if the sun sun r sets in the east and rises in the west, then that means that way is south and that way is north. Right? That's that would be a true statement. So I'm, I'm technically, I'm driving south right now. So, um, I found it on the, 
well, in, in relevance to me, the Western Peninsula. Um, but if you're looking down from the top, if you're looking at the cove, it's on the East Peninsula and the North Pen or the South Peninsula. The South Penicillin. <clears throat> the what? The, the penicillin. You mean peninsula? No. Tom, I mean peninsula. Okay, here's the sand. Boop. Oh, by the way, the, the clues for all of this stuff are like these signs all over the place. Oh, I forgot. I can't set that on the ground. I gotta go buy it. Anyhow, the signs lead to clues, the clues lead to the the symbols. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this symbol over here, where red... Oh, by the way, really red is the new red. That is in reference to um, the Roblox studio calling red really red. Like it's really, really red, instead of just being red red. <laughs> Oh. <clears throat> the naming conventions that they put into their uh, their enumerating um, boxes, blocks. Funny. <sighs> With all this fog going on, I'm almost like I I'm almost expecting to see something up on the tops, and I'm like, ooh, spookwood, spookwood. Like it's getting to that excitement level. I am ready for the excitement of being able to find uh, Spookwood. Like, that's one, of, that's one of my favorite things to do, is go and find Spookwood. It's it's that time of the year, it's, I mean, even, like, I know, uh, this, this might be a little selfish, but I know that the Spookwood trees are gonna be coming out, and a lot of people are gonna be searching videos, and my videos are gonna start, like, getting more views, just because, like, that's one of the things that I love so much. So that's a selfish reason for it, but um, it's also like showing the tr tips and tricks and helping people like how to find all this stuff. That's what I'm excited for. I'm excited to go in and discover. Oh, oh! Come on, get in there! Get in there! Woo! We just have to like bump it. There we go. Just have to bump it a little bit. And the moment you bump it, they're like, oh no, those rocks are moving. We need we need to do something about that. No no moving rocks. We can't move rocks here. What are you doing? We gotta move these color TVs. Refrigerators. Oh, hey. Oh, that's what we needed. Now I kind of, I, I still kind of want to get this one out of my way, so I'm just gonna keep on bumping it like this, and it should, it should freak out and be like, oh my gosh, I need to move. They're destroying me. Come on, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, rotate. 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 Oh, what if I what if I turn while going backwards? Oh, that that'd work. There we go. Hey hey hey. Come on, buddy. Okay, you know what? You know what? It's it's fine. It's fine. We don't we don't really need to clear it out, do we? Nah, it'll be fine. Let's go. Let's go get our things. All right. So we need the three items, which are the sandbag. No, nah, it's not a sandbag. That is a thing. And this. Man, it has been a while since I've gone and gotten a rookie axe. Oh, my goodness. How long's it been, Code? I think October was the last time I went and got a rookie. Oh, speaking of which, um, when my 
um, October 31st video comes out, it will be November 1st. Okay? So don't freak out. But my video is always a day out late. Okay, that's just the way that the schedule goes. And everybody everybody should be used to that by now. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. So over here on this wall, in this corner, is that red symbol, the, the red eagle, the eagle of freedom, uh, raven, whatever. But you want to put all your stuff down in there. So if you, if you just set it off to the, the right side of the eagle, the bird, you can open this up and drop them down. Uh-oh, where'd that other one go? There we go. Ooh. Oh, almost didn't make it. And then when you jump down in here, boom. Now normally what I do is I keep everything in the box so it's not rolling around and going all crazy all over the place and getting all glitched out. And you can just set it up here like this. Let's see, ice cream goes over here. He likes the ice cream. And he likes the earthly pleasures, dirt. And he likes the gummy worms. Right? I think. I could be completely wrong. Oh, got it right the first time. Oh, it's not white anymore? He made it out of glass? Oh, look at that. That is awesome. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Okay, there we go. There's the Rookie Axe. Oh no. It lost its magically powers. Dang it. That's fine. Anyhow, the Rookie Axe versus the Bird Axe is a little bit longer. Um, not more powerful than the End Times Axe. It's just stretched a little bit, but if you guys didn't know, that's the axe that's back here. This is the one that was made by Torque. All right, this man, I'm just throwing a lot of uh, trivia at you, aren't I? Anyhow, Torque right there. Again, thank you so much for the the axe and the recognition and the awesomeness. You are awesome. That's been in my my videos like ever since he sent it to me. So, uh, if you have any projects or awesomeness things like that that you want to send to me, absolutely, I would. I would throw it up here in the back and, and keep it up in my videos for you guys. Alright, Code. Now where to go? Well, um, next is... I think that's it. That's all we really need to know. Um, if it's underground, it, it won't grow underground. So you don't have to worry about it being lost on the, the bottom sides of the map. Because I used to be worried about that, but it, it doesn't grow down there. Now, it can, and this is very rare, it can grow inside the volcano. So, you, you can absolutely go up there and, and get lost in the volcano as well. Why does that look different? Oh, there's a cave up there! I'm just kidding. I know what that cave is, but for, for the quality of the video, oh, there's a cave up there. What is that cave? Oh my goodness. If you guys didn't see it right there. Oh my gosh. There's a cave up there. So <laughs> for anybody that's new watching the videos, that's actually where these rocks come out of. They slide down uh, this path that's up there, which is made out of uh, ice or it's, it's got no friction on it. So those rocks just come flying down and crash into the, the canyon for us. It's just brilliant programming. Brilliant stuff, guys. That's it. I think that's it. I, I mean, it's a 20-minute video, but it's it's the information about the spook, uh, spook tree that you're going to need to know for this upcoming October. And be nice and, nice and courteous to one another, okay? I know there's going to be a lot of people in a lot of servers searching for these things. And if you get into a server and you spot it... Don't shout it out. Don't be like, there's a spook tree! Because that's going to cause somebody else to go running after it. Like, where? And then they go after it. They hit it with the thing. And then people are going to be like, you stole my tree. If you see one, calmly and collectively, go to it. Don't say anything out loud. And go hit it with your axe. As soon as you hit it with your axe, boom, it's now yours. 
Um, now, the spook tree is a special tree because it will continue to grow even after it's been hit and claimed. But you can't tell when it's going to lose ownership. Like, the, the, there's a set determined amount of time. I don't know what that is. But you can sit there and just stay with it until it grows up to a certain maturity. Once you've noticed that it stops growing, then you need to chop it down. Um, one of the reasons for this is because it's so hard to chop down. It takes 42 hits. Um, it was 42 hits. It averaged 42 hits with my uh, end times axe whenever I was doing it. So that's just to chop it or to cut it up into pieces. So you're gonna be you're gonna be chopping for a little bit. All right. So that's all I got for right now. Um, yeah, that's it. That's literally that's the video. So. I hope you guys have a great Friday. Don't forget we have singing in the karaoke. Right, we have karaoke in the Discord where we're all going to be singing on Fridays. And then we have family movie night on Saturday. And that's where we all get together because of the coronavirus and because of the lockdowns. We're not able to go over to our friends' houses. We're not able to like hang out with friends and family to go. like We would do a movie night with one of our friends on Saturdays. And we can't do that. So what I did is inside my Discord, we play a movie and we all watch it together as if we were coming together as friends to watch a movie. So that's that's a really bad way of like trying to justify the copyright law because technically you're not supposed to, but I just, I, I want to say this. I'm not profiting from it. I don't want anything from it. We're, we're not charging to see it. It's literally, my kids can't go over to other kids' houses and watch movies, so we invite you guys over to us. So we do a family movie night for you guys, for us, and just for for the general us to have fun. So, um, yeah. That's it. That's all I got. Love you guys. Have a great night. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. But it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, I'm cool with that too. Love you guys. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. <sighs> Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.